I live in Capture One, don't you? I shoot RAW on my Fuji files, any files that we work with actually are RAW files because they're just the best quality, it's the most adjustable thing that you can do to give your client the best ending results possible. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the three things I seem to do every single time. I have a session, I have a wedding, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. These are the three things that I do every day in Capture One. Let's go. The first thing I would do is favorite the session. And I know what you're thinking. Really, dude? You just, that's part of the thing? Yeah, it is. Let me explain to you why. So this is my external hard drive, okay? The external hard drive right here. See? Raw is to develop. Everything goes in that folder. So these are clients of mine, okay? So what I do is say Bienvenue Fam. I'm going to right-click. And I'm gonna go add to favorites, boom. What that does is, it doesn't just put a heart there, it puts it right here, session favorites. So this helps me out big time when I log into Capture One and I look here, these are the jobs I still have to process and develop. It's my way of um, keeping it simple and clean for me to know that, hey, these are done, these are not done yet, uh, they need to be, so if it's unfavorited, say I finished over here, I'm going to say remove from favorites, okay? What that does is it takes it out of my session favorites up here, which means I completed that job. Now I can take what's in here and move them to my server, delete off of this drive. That is my number one thing that I do, and it just saves me some confusion on my part. So that is more, more powerful than you think. The second thing I do is cull. Uh, this is a senior I really do need to finish getting developed. And when I cull these images, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my folder. I'm going to go down here, see where it says your, your ratings. I five star what I want to keep. Okay. So it's looking at only the five stars. So if I click on an image here, and I make it a zero, boom, it goes away, okay? So me culling these images to my faves is what I have to do first. So we're looking at these, we're coming here. I'm like, am I gonna keep this? You know, if you wanna just look at it bigger, and it's like, which ones am I keeping? Okay, I don't need that one compared to this one. All right, make that a zero, boom, zero stars. So it's not deleted, it's just moved. Okay, if you had some if maybe shots like this one, like as a serious shot of her, I kind of like that. Um, it's like, now what? Well, let's make it a, a two. Boom. See right here, under rating, see two stars? There it is. So if you want to say, hey, my two stars are my if maybes, um, you know, you can go click on that and only see your if maybes. Maybe you don't want to like just move it completely. So we're going to go back to the five stars. And we're going to keep doing that. Okay. So that is how I call. I go through these things and I just look at which one is the better one. I love this one. Look how the sun is reflecting off of her watch. That is 100% real. <laughs> I didn't do anything to that. Um, you know, there's a car behind her and I'm digging that. Most likely, that one is not going to get seen, you know, whatever, zero. Boom. And that's what I do. I keep doing this until I narrow down to only my faves, which are all of my five stars. From there, I, you know, do my color and my cropping and all that good stuff. But the third thing that I do, which is very important to my workflow, okay, is exporting. Now, in Capture One, when I export you can use what it calls a recipe. The recipe is like an action that you set up to do when you highlight that recipe. Meaning, see right now how I have GK website four by six? That means whenever I click this and I hit export, this is the recipe it's gonna do, okay? It's, so I have a folder on my drive that says GK website, which means I want images to go into that particular folder. Every time I highlight, I turn on 
See, it's off. Click the check button, it's on. Whenever this is on, it's gonna go to this folder called GK website. It's gonna do this to the image. It's gonna reduce it in size. It's gonna be 150 res. I want the longest 2400 wide. And I respect the crop. Yeah, 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 and go. All right, so when I click export, my computer's so fast you can't even, look, you saw that? That's how quick it is. See right here where it says website export? See, GK website. And she's in here, there she is. So if you wanna keep a folder that as you're working your, your, your sessions and you come across a favorite you wanna put on social media or your website or wherever, you can click that button, export it, and it's gonna go there. Now, here is the coolest thing ever for me, which is why I'm showing you the exports. Okay. Drawing around the face. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, now uh, audio is synced. Okay. So on a wedding, okay, what is extremely important to me is being able to export, let's, let's grab a handful of these images, okay? To export and turn these things on, Facebook, eight by 10 size, you know, GK large, uh, not, my web, not my website because I don't want all of them in there. That's just like when I do my faves. But I want the print up to 8x10 size folder. I want the Facebook folder, which also puts my logo on the image and it's resized enough for web size on Facebook. And of course, my GK Large folder, which is full resolution JPEGs. All I have to do is turn those on and hit export. And it does all of those things at the same time walk away, come back, it doesn't take long at all if you have a fast computer like mine. I love this M1 Mac laptop, one terabyte SSD and 32 gigs of RAM. It, it, this thing's just rolling. But check it out. So coming back over here, look at that, look at that, look at that. Facebook, full size, print up to eight by 10, done for you. And it's in her folder. That is what is so darn important. It's in her folder. So when you move things all over your computer, that's how you lose them. So keeping them all under one folder and then put them into your external drive, your server, your offline server, whatever it is, but you're done. It's all in your folder. You're welcome. Congratulations. PayPal, send a dollar. It's in the links below. <laughs> Okay, those are my three things that I do every single time. I hope that helps you because I have more Capture One tutorials on the way. And I will see you in the next video. If you like what you saw, hit the like. Please subscribe if you have not. And let me know in the comments. And there's the AC destroying my sound. Later. Let's go. Let's go. Is that enough? Is that good enough for a thumbnail? <laughs> this is so stupid.